Thank you. But with all those great temperatures and the weather, it must be cooking up something nice for sports, huh? Definitely. It doesn't seem like fall, but football season is well underway with the Bobcats grabbing their first win of the season and the Ohio volleyball team had their home opener and yet another successful weekend. Next on Newswatch. The Ohio football team had their home opener against North Texas Mean Green Saturday night, resulting in the Bobcats' first win of the season by a score of 27-21. The Bobcats were much more impressive in Saturday night's competition against North Texas than their season opener against Louisville. The Cats had their had over 400 total offensive yards on the night. Receiver Chase Cochran led Ohio with six receptions for 103 yards with one touchdown and running back Ryan Boykin led the rushing game with 19 carries for 93 yards, including one receiving touchdown closely followed by Bo Blankenship who had 14 carries for 84 yards. Outside linebacker Joe Von Johnson was named MAC Defensive Player of the Week after returning an interception 42 yards for a touchdown to put the Cats up 21-7. Kicker Matt Green also had a standout night going 2-3 for three in field goal attempts. Both field goal attempts made secured the win for the Bobcats. Head coach Frank Solich is very pleased with his team's improvement in Week 2. Ohio field hockey also got their first win of the season during the Week 2 the two-game week in Louisville. The Bobcats defeated William & Mary 2-1 on Saturday with goals from Laurel Dutch and Catherine Fenzel. Unfortunately, the Cats fell to the University of Louisville 6-2 on Sunday to cap off the weekend. Senior Luli Gomez-Terrell scored both of Ohio's goals against Louisville and now has a team high of five goals so far this season. Head coach Neil McMillan told OhioBobcats.com that this weekend was a good learning experience for the team. The Ohio volleyball team had another successful weekend at home, taking two of three matches in the Baymont Inn Invitational. Ohio started off the invite on Friday night against the University of Cincinnati, sweeping the Bearcats in three sets by the scores of 25-13, 25-14, and 25-23. The Cats had a total of 39 kills against Cincinnati, holding the Bearcats to just 20. Ohio continued the weekend on Saturday afternoon with their only loss this season by falling to number 24 ranked North Carolina 3-2, but ended the invite by sweeping Dayton and taking second place overall. The Bobcats will compete in their third invitational of the season this weekend in Bowling Green, Kentucky. The soccer team continued their success it this weekend with Moorhead State Eagles Sunday at Chesa Field, Alexis Molesky fired off the first goal in the first minute of the game to give the Cats an early 1-0 lead, but the lead would be short-lived when Moorhead's Holly Tilly tied it up in the 8th minute. After 62 minutes of scoreless play, Ohio's Maggie Murnane headed the ball into the back of the net in the 71st minute to regain the lead. And 7 minutes later, Molesky found the net again to secure the Bobcats' first home win of the season. The Bobcats will have a small break before traveling on Friday to compete against Youngstown State. The women's golf team teed off yesterday at the Redbird Invitational to start off their fall season. The Bobcats currently sit in seventh place at the end of the day Saturday with Angela Codian leading Ohio. Codian shot five over par to tie for 14th place. The Cats are currently in the third and final round of the Invitational. The men's golf team also traveled to Huntington, West Virginia to compete in the Marshall Invitational today to start off their season as well. And it was the first football field Sunday in the 2013-14 football season. The Cleveland Browns fell to the Miami Dolphins 23-10. Starting quarterback Brandon Whedon threw for 289 yards, one touchdown, and three interceptions, while Trent Richardson had 13 carries and only 47 yards. And on the other side of the state, the Cincinnati Bengals also fell to their opponent, the Chicago Bears, by a score of 24-21. Andy Dalton went 26-23 of, of 33 
for 282 yards with two touchdowns and two interceptions. The Bengals led by four early in the fourth quarter, but a pass by Chicago's Jay Cutler to Brandon Marshall resulting in a touchdown would get, give the Bears the victory in the end. Well, great. It sounds like a lot of great things are happening in sports, especially for the Bobcats. Yes, the Bobcats are hopefully getting that winning streak going. I hope so. Thank you, Sarah.